Fasting for the body, prayer for the spirit. Fasting for the body, prayer for the spirit. Fasting humbles the body, prayer humbles the spirit. Fasting breaks the body, humbles it. And prayer breaks the spirit, humbles the spirit. This is why prayer is always a struggle. If somebody says to you, yeah, I pray all the time and it's nice and easy. Some have reached this level, but it takes <laughs> a great deal of an effort. It's not one of those, I just spoke to Jesus and he came down and he spoke to me. No, no. Where do you think you're sitting? But the Lord has nothing else to do but to, for you to say, please come, please go, please come, please go. That's childish behavior. Very childish. Prayer humbles the spirit. That's why prayer is a struggle. You must have experienced this. You know, every time we come to pray, Prior to that, I'm just dumb. I know nothing. I remember nothing. Just quiet. The moment I start praying, I'll remember every single detail six, seven, one thousand years ago. Man, the moment I start praying, all of a sudden, oh, I forgot to call so-and-so. It's their birthday. Oh, the food is on the stove. It's on fire. It's going to burn. Oh, I forgot uh, the clothes in the washing machine. Oh, I forgot to cook. Oh, I forgot to buy. Oh, I forgot. I've... How come he didn't remember all these things prior to pray? And when you come to pray, you'll, you'll start wondering. You're in the church, all of a sudden you're in Bondi Beach. What is this? Get out of my mind, my head, Bondi Beach. <laughs> The beach is talking. <laughs> now you'll see the beach. That's it. You're stuck with the beach. Or Westfield Shopping Center and Visace or Chanel is right before your eyes. And then, oh, it's, it's just, look, I look through the window and it's a sunny day. What a shame. Look where I'm sitting in the church, boring. You pray, you're everywhere. You stop praying. You're focused. <laughs> you know why? Because that enemy, that naughty, naughty enemy, he doesn't want you to focus when you pray. Why? Because prayer humbles the spirit. Guess what? He doesn't want you to be humble. And every time you want to fast, um, so many people have, not, not so many, a few people <laughs> Few people approach me all the time when the, the Great Lent comes. Before the Great Lent comes, they want to secure and uh, make sure they, they're safe and sound. Father, you know what? I promise you, Father, I promise you. If I don't have coffee at 10 a.m. all day, I've got a migraine. Would the Lord accept this? I don't think so. He's merciful. Father, I promise you, one cigarette I have to have between 8 a.m. and 12 p.m. If I don't have the cigarette, I can't focus. He want me to collapse and cut my hand in the chain. What do you say, Father? One cigarette. One cigarette. Pray for me, Father. One cigarette. You come to fast. Oh, I've got a headache. My back. My tummy. It's painful, man. I can't do it. I'm shaking. I'm going round and round and round. Everything is revolving around me. I'm going to faint. And then I see the, the stake. Someone will come and say, who said the Lord said, don't eat meat? Man, you can eat. Fasting is not that. Just don't talk about people. Yeah. <laughs> but you forgot you're stuck with this body that has been dragging you in the streets of Fairfield. This body needs to be disciplined. You can't just feed it steak and then the body feeds you to, the, to Satan. You can't. 
you got to feed it sometimes vegetables. It's good. <laughs> I don't know where people, when they talk, they don't think too far and too deep. Because they don't, don't want to give up on the food. So the Lord said, it's okay. Like someone came, he said, Father, I have to have a little glass of wine. Even the Lord drank wine in Cana of Galilee. Isn't it true, Father? Didn't he change the water into wine? You see, the Lord is not against it. He likes wine. And then when I tell him the agonizing truth, <laughs> oh, I wish I had never came to you and asked you then my conscience would have been nice. <laughs> but now that I, you've told me the truth, now I can't do it. When you fast, ask the Lord to help you. You see, fasting humbles the body, prayer humbles the spirit. Why? Because the only way to overcome Satan is humility. A true humble person now, please pay attention. This is apostolic teaching, huh? not 21st century teachings. A true humble person is the one who says, I'm a sinner, not a saint. And in the name of Jesus made me a saint, I'm a saint. Oh yeah, really? You're a saint? Well done. <laughs> 